Welcome to the Springer presentation on open access funding. In 2013, Springer conducted an anonymous author survey. When asked about open access, respondents had two questions in particular. Number one, why must I pay to make my research open access? And how do I get funding? We will dive into these a little later, but first I'd like to share some important information as well as provide a brief introduction to open access. Open access has been embraced by various funders and institutions all around the world because it allows immediate, unrestricted access to funded research. If you look at the chart, the key takeaway here is that open access to research output is growing and becoming mandatory. Just to give you some basics on what open access encompasses, there are two models of open access. There's green open access, which is a deposit of an author's accepted manuscript version in a repository. It includes individual self-archiving policies by publisher or journal, and embargo periods may apply. Gold open access, which will be the focus of this presentation, encompasses fully open access journals and hybrid open access option for subscription-based journals. Open access content under Gold Open Access is freely available immediately upon publication in exchange of a publication charge. Additionally, Gold Open Access removes permission barriers, most copyright and license restrictions. We have two Gold Open Access options at Springer. We have the hybrid Open Access option, which we call Open Choice, and is an open access option in a majority of Springer subscription titles. Open Choice is available to the individual author for an article fee of 2,200 euros or 3,000 US dollars. We also have our fully open access journals. These sit on the platforms of Biomed Central and Springer Open. Biomed Central publishes peer-reviewed open access journals in the fields of biology, biomedicine, and medicine. Springer Open, which launched in 2010, publishes peer-reviewed fully open access journals in all areas of science. At Springer, authors who publish open access benefit from high visibility thanks to unrestricted online access, easy compliance with funder mandates as articles are CC BY licensed, retaining the copyright to their work, reuse and immediate deposit of final article version in any repository, rigorous peer review and publishing services, and citation tracking and inclusion in bibliographic databases. So let's get back to the question. Question one was, why must I pay to make my research open access? Simply put, to cover the article processing charge. As I mentioned before, Open access content is freely available immediately upon publication in exchange of a publication charge, or so-called article processing charge, or APC. An APC must be paid at time of publication to cover immediate worldwide open access to the full article text, developing and maintaining electronic tools for peer review and publication, preparation in various formats for online publication, securing inclusion in relevant indexing services as soon as possible after publication, and securing inclusion in Crossref, enabling electronic citation in other journals that are available electronically. The submitting authors are responsible for APC coverage, but in most cases will have access to outside funds, enabling the author to not pay out of pocket. That brings us to question two. How do I get funding? Just to provide a brief overview, there are different funding of options available to you, the researcher. There are institutions, there are funders, there are societies, we have a membership program, and we offer a waiver fund. Your institution may have a policy regarding open access publishing with various funds available to cover your APC. 
Examples of institutes which provide funding are the University of Nottingham, Columbia University, and Harvard University, but the list is extensive. Check springeropen.com backslash funding backslash institutional policies to learn if your institution has an open access policy and whether funds are available. Many research funders have also adopted mandates requiring their researchers to make their work freely available. There's the Research Councils UK, the Wellcome Trust, National Institutes of Health, but like institutions, the list is extensive. You should visit springeropen.com backslash funding backslash funder policies to see if your funder has a mandate and whether funds are available. Additionally, many societies have opted to partly or fully cover the APCs payable for their journal. This may apply for all authors publishing in the journal or for society members as a membership benefit. Currently, over 80 Springer Open journals are partly or fully sponsored by a society or institution. Check with your society and, if there are no open access options, encourage their support. You can visit springeropen.com backslash societies backslash society journals for a full listing of our Springer Open Society publications. Many institutions are also participating in a membership program to support their researchers in publishing open access. One example is Springer's Open Access Membership Program, which offers institutions, societies, groups, and funders the option to financially support their researchers when they publish in a Springer Open or Biomed Central journal. Depending on the type of membership, the APCs are partly or fully covered meaning that if your institution is a member, you can publish at a discounted rate or no cost at all. To see if your academic or research institution is a member, visit springeropen.com backslash INST. But please note the membership program does not cover articles published under the Open Choice Program. Finally, Springer Open and Biomed Central both provide an automatic waiver to authors based in those countries which were classified by the World Bank as low-income economies or lower-middle-income economies as of September 2013. Close to 100 countries are included in a comprehensive list available at springeropen.com backslash authors backslash OA waiver fund. Again, please note, the waiver fund does not cover articles published under the Open Choice Program. In conclusion, funds are available out there for your open access research. And you can visit springer.com backslash open access funding for additional resources or contact us directly at info at springeropen.com for any questions.